Hi everyone, my name is Jesse. This is the auditorium. I react to video game music as a musician myself, and today is the return of Dot Hack. Dot Hack slash G U. Please let me know how to pronounce this series. I just call it Dot Hack, but this is G U. And we're going to be listening to two songs. One is Gentle Hands, and the other one is called Full Force versus Kubia Core, both requested by TriEdge 101. And these are from the channels, uh, I don't think it's an actual channel, I think it's like when Spotify uploads it to YouTube, you know what I'm talking about? It's just called Release Topic. And then the second one is from also like Japanese Letters Topic, so I'm guessing they're like the official Spotify uploads or something like that. Uh, okay, so I haven't done Dot .hack in a very, very, very long time, and I don't remember what it sounds like, but I do remember that it has like a bit of a cult following, and... It might be Namco, too. I don't want to say incorrect information, but yeah. Anyways, uh, we're going to start with the Gentle Hands from Dot Hack. Let's go. I don't remember if this was like an anime then game or game then anime, or maybe not even either. So whatever, let's go. Unmute. Gentle Hands. Does it have the composer here? and or end Credits here say Walkinwood of Victor Entertainment. And the singer may be, I could be wrong, Tomoyo Matoni. I have no clue if these songs are going to be connected. They're just in the same game. I like that though. I like not knowing if there's any correlation. Okay. So we got a ballad thing going on. Oh, they're like flourishing the chord. Another playing the chord. Boom. That was cool. Obviously, I have no idea what she's saying, so. I can only experience the universal musical language. Sounds kind of emotional. Let me see how many dot hack videos I've done. How many? Maybe one. I've done GU before, I've done Quarantine, and another GU, Victory Must Be Grass. It's been a year. So this is my fourth time. Really 
really nice heart. I have a very specific mindset with the song that I'll explain right after. That was Gentle Hands. I'm not sure if this artwork right here on this thumbnail is any correlation to that song or if it's like a, you know, album art or something, or just a character. Some, uh, I think I see two characters. Yeah, one in the background. 2006, NBGI. I'm pretty sure that's Namco Bandai. Games. Could be wrong though. Um. Okay, well, obviously, I don't know what she was saying, but it had that, from what very tiny little experience I've had with anime, it has like that sort of thing going for it, where it sounds to me more like a intro for a show or the ending of a show, or I guess anime, you know? Uh, I don't know how these games play, so my immediate and only reaction to that is ending credits or beginning intro movie type of thing. Now what I will say is, not that there's anything wrong with this either, but I notice doing this for a while, people submit songs for different reasons. It's not always just, there's just a lot of reasons. For example, there's people submit stuff that they think I wanna hear. There's stuff that they think just should be on the channel. And there's things that they just really love and they want to see someone react to it. That's usually the case. Um, some um, During April Fools, a couple years ago, people were just trying to like, you know, hurt my ears, that kind of thing. Whereas this one, I feel like obviously the requests are, uh, a lot of the requests are die hacks, so obviously they're fan of series. But I feel with this one, um, and please correct me if I'm wrong too, but it just feels like they were sharing their love for die hack and can talk to mutuals about it. So it was, even though I won't have much to say about it, the comment section here, you know, people will be like, oh my God, die hack. And you know, you can kind of start, it's, it's, it sounds silly, but you know, friendships can start that way. And it's kind of a wholesome moment, you know? You, the, these little things called video games, especially video game music, a lot of us grew up thinking we were part of a niche and we are, you know, it's always gonna be that way. I don't think it'll ever get that true respect it, it deserves. And I think, Low key, we kind of like that. It's kind of, you know, beneath the surface in a way. I feel like, well, you know, that's a separate subject, but I, I kind of feel that, and it's totally okay if it is too, that this was submitted purely on uh, the nostalgia of it and talking to mutuals about this game or this moment and be like, oh yeah. Because obviously they're gonna know that I have no context, no nothing. I have no sentimental attachment to this game or that song, but I feel like that song requires a lot of attachment and etc right a lot of songs do if not 90 percent of them but some you can kind of tell are tailored in a certain musical style to make you cry and reminisce and all that all i see is this jpeg of this character who looks pretty cool and yeah so if that's the case then cool you know talk amongst yourselves uh, while you do that, I'm going to check out... It was a beautiful song, though. I don't know who the singer was, what they're known for, any of that. But we're going to go right into Full Force versus... Where did I put it? Kubia Core. Now, this one's probably going to be a little more bombastic, I'm assuming. This one says Chikayo Fukuda. That might also be the composer. So maybe multiple composer game. Different character. Two different characters on screen. Okay. Let's see what happens here. In Full Force from Dot Hack, GU. Also, what does GU stand for? If anything. Alright, let's go. Yeah. Way different. Now now we're in the game, I feel. We have to be. Kind of remind me of like the Matrix movies. 
feels very early 2000s. Like trailer music. Are there a lot of vocals in Dot Hack? Is it a common thing? Oh. A little unsettling. Where are we going? Oh, it says right here, 2007. Yeah. I was thinking more like 99, 2001, but sure. This sounds like it's from that era, for sure. Like, this sounds like a flip phone commercial. Remember flip phones? It's like two songs at once. We have this slower beat right here with the piano and the ominous vocals and then we have the bass quicker part it definitely has more of a battle theme to it but it's like not as crazy it's just like it's like a creepy kind of energy. That's really enticing, actually. Short but sweet. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. That was a good length to that too. Okay. See now we're now we're now we're prying open. See this is why I love the double song format of these videos now. Because sometimes the songs are connected and right after another or something like that, you know, come correlation, and sometimes they're totally not. But I like when they're not because, well, I'm assuming they're not, because you get to hear more of the soundtrack has to offer. So now I'm almost like convinced the first song was definitely at the beginning or the end. And I'm almost guaranteeing none of the rest of the soundtrack sounds like that or close to many ballads. This sounds, this song right here, what was it, Full Force versus Kubia Core? This sounds more along the lines of more traditional dot hack, I guess, if I were to guess. But what was cool about it is that it had its own energy, right? From the two songs that I just heard, I don't remember what the other ones sounded like from a year ago, but from these, or from this right here, there seems to be this sort of mysterious energy type of thing. It doesn't sound so bombastic and in your face and it just sounds more, I don't want to say movie-like, but I guess the, the, I can't get the Matrix out of my head, but you know, like that, like that kind of energy of just like sci-fi. Sci-fi is a good word. That's perfect, actually. Sci-fi. Yeah. It's very science fiction that the kind of cascading bass and then it goes away into this like mysterious thing. Very weird things happening on screen, visual effects, that kind of thing. So it's cool that the energy can like go higher and more intense, but it still has this calming, nerving nature to it. That's interesting. I'm going to have to go back and listen to those other dot hacks that I did a while ago. But uh, yeah, this brought me this brought me back to like that era, the early 2000s era of, I'm assuming this is PS2, it would have to be. Right? 2007? I'm assuming it's PS2. Well, let's hope it is, because it sounds like the PS2 era, if I, if I can, you know, narrow it down even further. That was cool, though. So let me know if this is like a collaborative effort, multiple composers, if it's just... I feel like I've seen this name, dude. As soon as I saw it, 
Um, it's been in my head the whole time. Chika Chikayo Fukuda. Let me do that in the meantime while you guys vibe in the background. Chikayo Fukuda. I swear I've seen that name. Musical composer. Japanese composer. She. She is the composer. Oh my god, what has she done? I swear I've like something. Known for a dot hack. Asura's Wrath, I never heard of that. Silent Bomber, dot hack. Naruto Shippuden? Have I heard of that game? I think I might have. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Some big names here. Naruto. More dot hack. Okay, she definitely did like all of dot hack. Naruto, 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 dot hack, dot hack. Dot. Anything else I might recognize? Demon Slayer? The game. Okay. So she's been around. I feel like I've seen that name somewhere else, though. I don't know. Either way, um, cool. And I believe I could be wrong, but I think I still have some upcoming requests from Dot Hack too. So, but don't call me on that. I might. Um, let me know what this game is about. I've always seen it growing up because once you see that name, it immediately grabs your attention. You know, it looks like a, this piece of coding, and I've never like. I think I saw a little bit of footage from the other videos that I did. It could have been just like a. I think it looked turn-based from what I remember. It was a while ago. But yeah, let me know what's up with uh, Dot Hack. Which one is the first one? Is you the first in the series? Etc. 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 Whatever you want. That was cool though. I like both uh, types of songs in this uh, in this video. I like that. Cool. Okay. Thank you, Triage 101. Thank you to all my Patreon members. I couldn't be here without them. Thank you to my Platinum members. Thanks to you for watching. My name is Jesse. See you later.